here are the requirements for laboratory reports for Astronomy 101. Start by planning the writing of your report. Your instructor will help you with this by providing an outline of what sections are required and what questions need to be answered. Make sure to use the instructions as your checklist, but also listen to announcements for any additional requirements. Budget your time carefully, as the instructor may require you to complete some of the write-up outside of class. Data processing can be tricky and take extra time, so take the steps carefully and compare with your classmates. Ask for help from the instructor if needed. You need to spell check your work. Because astronomy includes a lot of technical vocabulary, you will also need to proofread it so that the correct vocabulary is used. Now let's go through the parts of your report. Note that even when not all sections are required, you need to be aware of the structure so that you can put yourself in the mind of the reader for more clarity. At the top of the report, write a descriptive title for the lab, your name, followed by the name of any group members who have contributed to the work. For the date, use the date of the report of submission, not that of the lab observations. This lets the reader know how up-to-date the documentation is. For each subsequent section, make sure there is a clear section header. If an introduction is required, provide the context for the topic, why it is important for astronomy, and define any important vocabulary as it is used in astronomy. Make sure to relate the concepts, if appropriate, including any equations that will be used in the lab. Define the questions the lab is going to answer. A procedure is almost always required. Give the step-by-step -step report on what you did, writing in first person. If you haven't already, define all variables explicitly 
but do not include any results here. If appropriate, provide a diagram with a descriptive caption. If you did not pose the questions in the introduction, make sure to include them here. The results should include both qualitative and quantitative measurements. Tables, graphs, and other figures each need their separate descriptive captions. Keep related items close, but again, make sure their captions are separate. The analysis or conclusion needs to review everything presented in the results, talking about trends and accuracy, and answer the questions posed in the interaction or procedure using your results. If you have used any outside source at any portion of the report, after citing them in the text, you need to create a reference list at the end of the report for each source. Put yourself in the mind of the reader. The purpose of lab reports is clear, honest communication about the procedure of and results of observations and experiments, as well as the thought process of the questions, analysis, and conclusions thereof. The reader does not want to have to flip back and forth to have to figure out your reasoning. Nor is the reader required to run the spell check for you. When in doubt, go back and reread the instructions for the entire lab, as well as what is required of the lab report, compare with your classmates, and if still need help, ask your instructor. Keep in mind, though, that you are required to do your own work. Your classmates and your instructor will not do the work for you.